Welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman, and today I'm going to be doing a celebrity psychic reading, which I'm very excited um, for one of my favorite singers, Lady Gaga, also known as Stephanie Germanata, born and raised in New York City. Um, so where do I begin? I'm going to go ahead and start into what I see for the remaining of 2018 going into 2019 for Lady Gaga. So um, when we come into Lady Gaga, um, she is a very interesting personality. She is up there with like Prince and a lot of these uh, other, you know, inspirational artists. And when she came onto the scene, she did burst onto the scene in a big manner. And she rose to fame so quickly because she was so relatable to a lot of people and she still is and I, I feel very excited to um, always listen to her music um, you know I've always found a lot of comfort in a lot of her her songs uh, her style has changed over the years um, so what I see for the remaining of 2018 going into 2019 is that there's a lot of contracts that are going on right now a lot of business deals with the brand that is Lady Gaga and um, so it wouldn't surprise me if she would fall into uh, doing more creative things, not just music, but all, we've seen her in acting. We've already seen her in um, in acting. We've seen her uh, music, you know, going into music. She's done fashion for like um, Versace and advertising. She's done her perfume line. So I feel like she's going to uh, go, in, you know, go into that same kind of direction. Just keep the energy going. Keep her business, you know, going and flowing. I feel like she still is going to do a lot more with fashion, but also in the beauty world, beauty community, there are rumors that she is going to be um, coming out with her own makeup uh, line. So that is something that I feel like is in the works right now. Um, I really feel like what I see is that she's just, you know, in a good space right now, mentally, creatively. Um, and, you know, there's just so many things that she is excited about and she will be making announcements later this year going into next year. Um, I also feel like she, I see her, you know, making a new album that would be coming out either this year or next year, uh, very possibly. Um, she hasn't, you know, really given, um, her music, you know, put it aside. Um, she's almost going, you know, every two years, every three years, you know, she's coming out with new things and reinventing herself. And when it comes to Gaga, you know, she um, has, you know, expressed that she has been diagnosed or tested positive for lupus, I believe. So she has a lot of health issues. And when I come into her, I do get that uh, mentally and emotionally, you know, she does go through levels of depression. Again, this is not a health diagnosis by any means because I'm not a doctor. This is just what I get intuitively from her. But I do get that she does suffer from depression and she does have, you know, some physical health issues that she is, um, you know, trying to manage in a more holistic manner than just popping pills. Um, so she's more of going the holistic route with a lot of this. And I feel like she continues, she's going to, we're going to continue to see uh, her go through those struggles as she gets a little bit older and, you know, in the next two years. But I do feel like ultimately there is a lot of healing around her when she is, creatively in the studio when she is working on her music, you know, on her fashion and, um, you know, doing other creative projects uh, and helping out people. She's also a huge humanitarian as well. Now, the one thing with Lady Gaga also that I want to bring up because we only hear this in the spiritual community, but a lot of people, especially celebrities, tend to be victims of psychic attack and a lot of negativity. So when she came out, a lot of people um, were mixed about Gaga. A lot of people loved her, her fans. But there was a lot of people who were just find her, They, you know, they called her an Illuminati, a devil worshiper, someone who was, you know, very negative. And when people make hurtful comments like that, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, a celebrity or just a regular person. Our words carry energy, and all that energy was negatively directed to Gaga, and I feel like she was in a very dark place um, the first couple of years of her career, even though she was having an enormous amount of success. There's just been so much negativity and um, just a lot of dark energy that was following her, not that she carried it, but people that were throwing those 
comments to her and just focusing on her energy in a very negative manner rather than coming from a place of light. So I feel like Gaga has actually worked with the spiritual person, whether this is a psychic, a medium, or somebody in, you know, in her team who believes in um, more of a pagan lifestyle. But I really do pick up like she would have, you know, reached out to someone to kind of balance uh, you know, her life and kind of shield herself and learn techniques and tools to actually shield herself from a lot of this negativity. Because again, uh, being in the spotlight, they're so susceptible to getting attacked by individuals, people that just are fans or people who are obsessed or people who just, you know, love to hate some uh, celebrity artists. But I do get that some of her, you know, her health issues and some of the things that she's gone through, even her breakup, um, you know, with Taylor, it had to do a lot with um, spiritual attacks and people who were just very against her energy. And so she's learned to kind of diffuse and to um, deflect a lot of this negative energy away from her. Um, and I remember one time I was looking at uh, one of her interviews and it, what struck me is because I love crystals. I work with crystals so much. Uh, for my own healing and for um, working with others when I'm doing readings, you know, to provide healing for them. And I remember seeing an interview of her. I can't remember what year it was. This was probably in 2013, but it was an older interview when she, like two, around 2009, 2010. I, I don't remember the exact year. Um, could have been somewhere around there. But I remember seeing her in an interview and she had a cup of tea. I believe she was drinking. And in it, she had a clear quartz diamond or like a crystal in there and I remember she said that she drinks her tea like that so that was like oh my god I was like I can't believe it you know she's a crystal lover too and that's what kind of made me realize you know she is very spiritual not that I ever doubted that she was ever spiritual but you know I kind of understood why she was working with crystals and taking in the energy because when you put a crystal inside of a, a cup and you fill it up with any kind of liquid there's certain crystals that you can't do that because it can turn toxic but, you know, like a clear quartz, you know, I can understand she generate, like when you take, you leave that crystal in there and it basically mixes with the water, it becomes a very powerful uh, concoction, you know, uh, spiritually. And so she took that energy, you know, in when she drinks it, you know, she was taking that energy in. So, uh, yeah, she's very much like Prince. Prince was very much, you know, a uh, spiritualist and he was very much aware of, everything that is around her, around him. And I feel like with Gaga, she is very much aware uh, when it comes to her career. Um, and she's just taking stock of everything, you know. Um, so I see that right now, you know, she is having to be strong. She has some concerns with her dad because his her dad was ill. And I feel like when I get into Gaga, that uh, into her energy, that she has some a lot of concerns. But she's overall uh, a very family-oriented person. And she's trying to keep her family together keep them strong be strong for her family especially for her dad um you know and so the last thing that she wants to do is to see um you know anyone in her family go through any hardships if she can avoid it so i feel like um you know she's trying to protect her family as much as she can as, as she can but there's a lot of people you know out there who may not like her dad or who would target him because again she is a, a huge celebrity and they, you know, they're more on the outside of the spotlight. But whenever they have a, you know, a, a child that is very famous, there are going to be, you know, other things, uh, people, you know, that come forward and try to target the family. So I feel like um, her dad is, is her protector as well. And um, he is, you know, there's a lot of, you know, things that he's doing, but there is a male um, that Gaga, this could be someone on her team, someone that is battling like, you know, a darker phase. He could be having addictions or something like that. And what I get is that um, this male uh, is in her team and that he is going through a lot of, uh, of issues with, you know, um, relationship issues and also with uh, addictions and so I feel like she's trying to help this person overcome since she has been in that kind of situation herself and she's gained a lot of strength you know from and learning from her past mistakes so I see her kind of like being uh, a mentor to this person and helping them 
I also pick up with Gaga that she is going to be going in more into kind of like a producer mode as well. So it wouldn't surprise me as if she is scouting new talent as well. And, um, you know, that would be like her pro uh, prodigy, you know, someone who is, is very talented and unique. And she would be supportive of them. So I see her doing multiple things, not just being in the studio, but also still writing songs for other people and helping them. And I feel like one of the ways that she does cope with a lot of her, her, um, you know, the things that are going on in her life that can, you know, send her into like a depressive mode is that she turns to writing, into singing, into music. That is how she finds an outlet. But I do get like there is someone who is being very sneaky, uh, that is around her. This wouldn't be necessarily someone on her team, but maybe someone in media, uh, someone with a management company that um, is working against her. And I feel like they're taking, they're trying to take, you know, different opportunities uh, and give them to their artists that are, you know, that are just coming out or they're trying to get them to a level of success like Gaga has had. So I feel like this person is a male. Uh, he's, he would have dark hair, some facial hair, and I do get that he would be in his, I want to say 30 or 40s, and we may hear about this in the news, but I feel like some underhanded stuff, maybe a, a song that was written for Gaga, but I, mo I know she writes most of her songs and produces them. This actually could be like a producer, you know, it's someone that it works, you know, in the music industry, and I feel like there's like uh, almost like a setup, but not really much a setup, but more this man is working alone and being deceptive and trying to, you know, tarnish her career when it comes to music. So um, this is just something, you know, heads up for Gaga for her to watch out and be very mindful and aware. But overall, I see success. I see her coming out with new, new kind of music. Also, it's, she's going back to her roots. So we're going to see more of a pop type of album when she does come out with it. As far as children are concerned, I feel like this is something that she has very much thought about. And I get that question a lot. You know, people ask me, you know, about celebrities sometimes. And um, with Gaga, a lot of questions have been uh, around whether or not I see her having children. And I do actually see Gaga having uh, at least one child. I don't see two. I see one. Um, and I, I feel like this time frame would fall within two to three years from this reading that I'm doing now um, with her. I feel like she's not going to step out entirely away from the music industry, but she is going to go into a creative mode and, um, I'm sorry, not a creative, but more of a family oriented mode and actually um, decide to, you know, see if she can set her roots down. Even if she doesn't have necessarily a partner to have a child with, um, she may actually go the route of, you know, uh, just having the child uh, by herself or going with like, you know, uh, adopting, you know, there's a lot of different things that she could be doing, but I feel like she will have her own child and she will be in a relationship. Um, and that brings me to the next slide. So give me one second. Okay, this is Taylor Kinney and he was engaged to Lady Gaga and they were going to be, um, they were going to get married, you know, that was the plans. They were very much set together, and I believe it was around 2016, um, but if I'm wrong, please correct me, but it was around that time that they uh, ended up, you know, ending their engagement, and there was a lot of speculation as to why it didn't work out, you know, why she had this um, this issue with, with him. I feel like when I come into Taylor's energy, this was actually um, a twin flame relationship with Gaga, and um, he was very fond of her. He does love her. I feel like they're still amicable in many ways, but what drew them apart is usually with twin flame relationships that people are so alike and they, um, they have so many similarities that they end up just, you know, separating and going their own separate ways. And when I came into his energy, I feel like he, you know, he, he did support her artistically and creatively, but when it came to starting a family, I just feel like he wasn't ready um, to start a family, you know, with Gaga and, um, and actually get married. And I feel this was, again, what I saw with like, um, you know, a lot of the other artists that are in Hollywood, I feel it because of his career, his management, you know, the people that manage him, you know, told him that this was maybe not a good look and it would have adverse consequences in his, um, his career. 
because especially when they're actors, um, a lot of the they, a lot of them tend to be more, have more success, you know, and get more roles and stuff and be more appealing to women and to men and to people out, you know, out there that are fans or viewers when they are single. Because there is that mentality, you know, that they are, you know, they are not attached to anyone. And when they get attached to someone in a relationship, um, you know, it tends to be in an in a manner viewed in a manner where they're not, you know, no longer the focus on them because, you know, they're taken and, you know, there's just a lot of drama. But I feel like there were outside forces that contributed to um, them separating. I do feel like when it comes to Taylor that he still has feelings for her. And I feel like they do still communicate, you know, whether this is a phone call, FaceTime, but I do feel like, you know, a part of me feels like their love, you know, will eventually, you know, be something where we see them uh, out together again. You know, this may not be like, you know, them dating again per se, but uh, I feel like they are still good friends in many ways. But I don't feel like he was destined to be Lady Gaga's um, soulmate. And the reason that, again, that I say that is because um, his energy is a little bit far for uh for out now and i feel like he is attached maybe to someone else um talking to someone else so um you know i just don't get that that he would have been he would have been happy with gaga and in that relationship but again things just wouldn't have worked out because there were so many you know lies and um a lot of things that he couldn't get out of his you know get off his chest and be very truthful and gaga loves loyalty and that's what she wanted uh, in the relationship and for him to not, you know, judge her. And I feel like when he got upset, there was a period where they were uh, very much upset with each other. Um, he did tend to say some things that were very hurtful, which were, you know, really coming from his subconscious level, how he really felt. And so they decided, you know, before they do more damage, just to kind of separate and go separate ways. Uh, but again, I do feel like he is, you know, a twin flame for Gaga and that they will always have that mutual love for each other. But with her, again, I don't see that she will marry anytime soon. I do feel like she will eventually do that. That's something that she wants to do and lay foundation down to start her own family. But that is still later down the road. She's still young, relatively young. So she still has time, you know, to, to start, you know, her family and everything, but a mus her music career is everything to her and will definitely be um, something that, it, you know, that she always will uh, cherish uh, in every single aspect of, of life. So um, the other things that I see uh, for Gaga is that um, when she is, you know, doing her songs and her, and her songwriting and stuff, um, she is going to uh, I feel like go into a direction where it tells more of a story more it's more intimate and she we see we learn a little bit more of her uh, going into 2019 so whatever projects that she puts out right now uh, between here and 2019 um, you know I feel like a lot of her songs and her um, her music is going to be more personal and it's going to give us a story and kind of reveal a little bit more about Taylor's, uh, her relationship with Taylor and a lot of the other, uh, relationships that she has professionally with her, you know, the people that she works with in Hollywood and the people that she's surrounded by. Um, what I see furthermore is that she is a philanthropist and she is, uh, very much, uh, you know, for the youth. Um, so she is, we're definitely going to see a lot more of her advocating and for helping, you know, good causes and, being of a spokesperson basically for people who um need you know need gaga and so i feel like her career is definitely far from over and we're going to see a lot more success and a lot she's going to be a lot more in the spotlight but like i said the direction that i feel like she's going to eventually take is going to be more like a producer and writer um for music and maybe even going into film uh like doing a cartoon, like a, an animated film and being a voice for one of the characters. Um, and also doing a lot of a, like a children's book. I don't know if she's, you know, even contemplated that, but I, I get like there is going to be a lot more focus on, um, you know, just getting into new creative projects that are not just music and 
again, showing people different facets of her creativity and what she can do. She is not one dimensional by any means. So uh, I was very happy to do this video on Gaga. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any celebrities or anybody that you would like to see me do a psychic reading, please comment below. Blessings and love and light to all of you.